If you watch this short video, I'm going to show you exactly how testimonials should be laid out on your stores or your landing pages to increase your conversion rates. Hey guys, I'm Oliver Kenyon, co-founder here at ConversionWise, and I want to quickly remind you that if you're watching this on YouTube right now, please hit that subscribe button because it's going to keep you up to date with our latest videos, all about how you can skyrocket and smash those conversion rates out the window. Also, I want to remind you, if you are not inside our Facebook community, it's a free community, head on over to Facebook, search for Conversion Rate Community, smash that join button, and you're going to be joined into the group where you can get all the latest tips and tricks and everything that we drop all about again increasing your conversion rates online so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to use a click funnels page i'm going to use their basic vsl sales lambda um, just because it gives me the ability to edit stuff on page so you can see exactly what i'm doing take notes and do it yourself it doesn't matter what page you're using what builder you're using what theme you're using we don't teach things specific to builders because what we teach is applicable across all of them and it will increase your conversion rates and this is how you make the most out of your testimonial section first and foremost where should they go well follow our other videos on our channel where we walk about talk you through and walk about uh walk you through and talk about the ADA principle, attention, interest, desire, action. Your testimonial section should be the desire section, so it should be the third section down in your page above that call to action section. Okay, now what you should do to get the most out of your testimonial video, uh, sections. First and foremost, this headline needs to be something more emotive. Uh, instead of just like, you know, CR reviews, uh, I would do something like, let's say for example, this is a weight loss product, um, thousands, thousands, of real reviews from people living healthy lifestyles. So see how I kind of touch on that benefit, the healthy lifestyle of the product itself. Don't waste this title, make sure you utilize it. And then there's some definite do's and definite don'ts when it comes to the actual testimonials themselves. First and foremost, I would always put my testimonials in quotation marks. ClickFunnels doesn't do this via default, but I would put them in quotation marks just so people know that they're actually quotes. Secondly, when it comes to the text itself, keep it between one and two paragraphs. This, this size is actually pretty much bang on, uh, but you want to do a couple of things. You want to bold some of the keywords. So go through your testimonials and bold some of the keywords. Typically speaking, people want to pull out the bold statements about a journey. So it's about before and after. So it's, uh, if, it's a, if it's a weight loss product, it's I was struggling with my weight, bold struggling, okay? Then I found this product and instantly I now feel healthier and better. Bold, healthier, better. See how that took me from a journey from struggling to healthier and better. Those are the keywords that you want to bold. So go through your testimonials, add quotation marks and bold some of the keywords. Secondly, then you want to inc uh, include a proper name of the consumer. So let's say this is Rosie Jenkins. We see too many people get this wrong. They'll just put Rosie or they'll put Mrs. Jenkins. It's unbelievable if you do two of them. So make sure you put uh, both names there. Next, we want to utilize this line here to add some social proof in form of a visual element. So not just text, we need to get a visual. So we need to get some gold stars in there, trust pilot icons, it doesn't matter. Look guys, look how easy this is. If you can't be bothered to go and get images, if you don't have a graphic designer, go to Emojipedia, search for stars, grab the star emoji, any page builder you can do this on, just get creative. Okay, five stars, okay? Look how much more visual that is now. It's more believable, it's more visual, okay? So we've gone from a boring, useless testimonial to something that's way more visual. We've given them a motive headline, we've bolded some of the keywords, we've put them in quotation marks, we've used first and second name, and we've given that visual aspect of social proof with the gold stars, okay? Five gold stars. Lastly, when it comes to your image, make sure they're organic and authentic as possible. These two images are awful, okay? They look like they're shot by professional they look like this guy's in a in a studio they look very much shutter stocky okay get rid of them get authentic real images of real people and I'll give you an example of that uh, if I can get into the image section here this is like one of our testimonials from someone who's reviewed our course okay it's real it's authentic it's basically just his Facebook profile picture it's more believable 
people then uh, believe in what you're selling. And look how we've literally just transformed that ClickFunnels testimonial section in seconds, and this will get you more conversions. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, make sure you hit subscribe, and join me again for some more free tips on how to boost and skyrocket your conversion rates. Oh,